Hello everyone! Welcome to another episode of Bible Q&A. Today we're discussing, was Jesus human or divine? Okay, so we've already made a bunch of videos discussing how Jesus isn't God. That's old news at this point. He is a separate being who is only united with God in purpose, according to John chapter 17 verses 21 to 23, which obviously don't imply that Jesus is the same person as his apostles. However, he is still a powerful spiritual being. That was the only way God could have used him to create the world in Colossians chapter 1 verses 16 to 17, and that was the only way he could have received God's throne in Hebrews chapter 12 verses 1 to 2. No ordinary human could have done those kinds of things. This then raises a question. When Jesus came to earth, what was he? Was he a spirit with a temporary human form? That would contradict Hebrews chapter 2 verse 16, which emphasizes that he wasn't an angel while he was here. For verily he took not on him the nature of angels, but he took on him the seed of Abraham. Plus, if he was a spirit in disguise, then he wouldn't be able to pay the ransom sacrifice. As it was said in Hebrews, For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death, that is, the devil. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 14 If he weren't fully human, then he simply wouldn't die, and thus the sacrifice wouldn't happen. On the other hand, Jesus also needed to be sinless to perform the ransom sacrifice, since he was sent here to cleanse the earth of sin. As it was said in 1 John, And ye know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him is no sin. 1 John chapter 3 verse 5 since all humans are sinful, according to Psalms chapter 51 verse 5, that would mean that a human Jesus would be unable to perform the ransom sacrifice, right? Well, no, if we're willing to get technical. Let's look closely at Psalms chapter 51 verse 5. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. We could argue that it is the natural process of human reproduction that produces sinful people. However, Jesus wasn't born through this process. He wasn't the product of sexual intercourse. He didn't receive any DNA from his adoptive father Joseph. One day, a fully formed embryo just showed up in Mary's womb and began to develop into a baby. How this process worked, we'll never know, but it does give us a resolution to this paradox. If sexual intercourse produces sinful people, and Jesus was informed through such intercourse, then that means he could be born as a sinless human being even through the womb of a sinful human being. Now, Jesus wasn't an ordinary person, of course. He healed people, controlled nature, and materialized objects out of thin air. However, he wasn't the only person who had such power. Elijah and Elisha performed miracles as well in 1 Kings chapter 17 and 2 Kings chapter 4. Were they divine? The reason they were able to do things like this was that God gave them that power. As it was said in Matthew, But when the multitudes saw it, they marveled, and glorified God, which had given such power unto men. Matthew chapter 9 verse 8. In Jesus' case, this power came through an unlimited dose of the Holy Spirit, according to John chapter 3 verse 34. In fact, Jesus would in turn give the apostles the Holy Spirit in John chapter 20 verse 22, and they'd go on to perform many of the same miracles. Heavenly beings are still a bit stronger than us, according to Hebrews chapter 2 verses 7 to 8, but humans can be pretty powerful too, if given such power by God. This means that, even though Jesus was divine before and after his incarnation, he didn't need to be divine on earth to achieve his purpose. And that is where I'm going to stop with this Bible Q&A. Was Jesus human or divine? He was fully human while he was on earth, because he needed to perform the ransom sacrifice, but he was also sinless because he wasn't born the way most other humans were. Thank you for listening! Don't forget to like and subscribe!